Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Today we're back in the East Yorkshire series where things are quite busy down at Hull Paragon. I don't want it to be too busy because otherwise everyone will yell at me saying we need more platforms. We don't need new platforms at all because if you look, there's no queue there. Okay, this chap's coming in, uh, but there's no queue here either. So uh, yeah, as soon as that 150 is vacated, this chap should be able to come in. Obviously this chap's going out. There's another one there on the Hornsey to Snaith local. We've got four trains on that and uh, they are all fairly bunched up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into this timetable mod now what I must also stress I mean uh, hang on what is it it's Hornsey to Snaith train Hornsey to Snaith local there we go right unbunch uh, up, upper Hornsey uh, same again do it at Hull unbunch uh, we'll go with 30 on there I still don't really know whether we're working in hours or minutes here uh, I'll tell you what we'll go Snaith you can have Unbunch 30 minutes there, that can have a maximum of 10 at Hull, so it doesn't block it for too long. I'm assuming that's 10 minutes. Uh, I, I think so. Uh, no, hang on, tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll have an hour there, because I've realised that 30 minutes isn't actually that long in game time, is it? Snaith, uh, one hour, and Hull there. That's assuming that that is exactly how it works uh, we don't know if that's how it works since the last episode i have obviously i'm i'm away so this has been recorded before the last episode went out where i was pleading for help with the timetable uh, so yeah please do let me know uh, in the comments how you use that timetable mod I, I, there's probably documentation on it that i've just never read uh, the hulter driftfield local coming in there that's the hulter selby express fair few passages on that which is good 23 it'll do uh, did we also get in the timetable the Hull to Selby Express? I don't know if we did. Hull to Selby Express. No, we didn't. Right, unbunch for a maximum of two... No, one hour. Unbunch time, one hour. I'm assuming that's at a maximum. Tell you what, what's the, what's the most we can... Is it 24 hours? That would make sense. No. Right, okay. We'll go with one hour and see what happens. We could end up with lots of things sat in uh, in hull here. How's that working for you then? Is is that good? Oh, one five eight's off. Oh, ninety's coming in. Lovely. Lovely. Right, okie dokie. I mean, there should be another ninety somewhere. There's quite a queue coming down here, isn't there? Maybe we could do with putting the intercity track as four track into hull. Maybe that's a thing. Where's the other intercity? So there's an intercity there and another one there. Right, so these are the ones that are running like two together, aren't they? So if you if you go in there now, I wonder how you're gonna work with the whole unbunching malarkey. I just want you to unbunch. You know, like like you used to back in the day. I think it was before we installed this timetable mod. That it used to do it. So hopefully you should spin round and go. Full. Lovely. Come on then, off you pop. There we go, and you should unload and stop. Yeah, there we go. Right, maybe I've sussed it out. Oh no, he's set off again. He's going. Right, okay. Uh, so, tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, didn't quite work as desired. Uh, we'll go back into the timetable mod. Uh, the the Hull York to Hull Express. That's that's what we want. Right. Oh, is this? Does this tick to say you want the timetable to work? Ooh, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll go with the Hull to Selby Express, the Hornsey to Snaith Logan. We'll tick that, yeah. York to Hull Express. And bunch time 30. Right, that might be wise. So if we, if we put you on three hours there. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll just go with one hour. One hour. There we go. One hour. Hopefully you can unbunch a bit more. Hopefully that might work. I love how the 142 is just running rings round, uh, running rings round that. Well, for now, anyway, because he's on a speed restriction, isn't he? Off you go, little 14. Foot down. Tell you what we are going to do. We're going to replace you. I know. How can you replace the 142? Well, you know me. We're going to replace it with uh, with another livery, because obviously GM Greater Manchester. Oh, what about this? This looks funky. Right. Tell you what, we'll replace one with that. And then we'll have a provincial one as well. Uh, right, one four two. Provincial. Beautiful. 
Oh, I like this. Is this the uh, is this the Newcastle upon Tyne livery? No, that was different, wasn't it? Well, which one's that? It's called Skipper. Go on then, shout out in the comments which which one four two livery is this? The model is absolutely fantastic on this. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. Problem is, they've got glass in the windscreen, so we won't be able to see the trains coming the other way. Yeah, we've got that one there. Fair few passengers on. It's a good job they've got this little service, isn't it? It's quite a nifty little, nifty little hopper. Oh, I did used to. I've missed them for twos, you know. Really do. Hey, there we go. Lovely, lovely. Selby's actually growing quite well. There's quite a few tower blocks. I don't remember all them in Selby. And uh, one place that I hadn't realised had grown at quite a, a rate that it had is North Ferriby. Look at all this over here. I mean, we've got the buses coming up here. That serves most, so we, we're fine there. What route have you got? Is it... Oh, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's one of them. I got told off for using too many of these, but it's absolutely fine. But yeah, this level crossing, what a place to watch trains. In fact, I imagine there's probably that many trains through here that... I mean, where's the next train after this? Oh, okay, there's not a train for a while. It's just a coincidence there's two coming at the same time. These things really do sound knackered, don't they? How many can we carry? 910. What if it wasn't loco hauled? What if it was... What if it was a DMU? What if it was a 155? So you can carry how many? 60? What about West Yorkshire PTE? That's nice, isn't it? Uh, so you can carry 60. So 60 times 5 is 300, which is not enough. So what if we... What if we get three of you as light... Oh, why don't we have 158 in that livery as well? Because we could couple a 158 on the back. Provincial Sprinter. We could have a Northern Spirit one shoved on the back. Just to, you know, just to keep it, keep it looking fantastic. One of them, that can carry 25. Oh, it's annoying. Network Southeast, love it. 156 in Network Southeast. Yeah, that's a blooming bugger ad. I like that in you know, Southwest Trains. That's a bit bright, isn't it? Because these are getting a bit old. Tell you what we'll do. Right, we'll have one with a pacer on the back. There we go. We'll shove a provincial pacer on the back of that. You know, there, there we go. So how many can you carry? You can carry 120. There we go. Right, replace you. You can be a double 155. Yeah. You can be... What are you going to be? You can be a 156. We'll have them all as different trains. That'd be fantastic. Right, what have we got? Network North West. We'll go with Provincial. I don't know if they had them round here, but uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll bung one of you and a 158 on the back. Lovely, 120. Don't crash the game. Please don't crash the game. I realise we've not used the 156 yet, so uh, it'll be interesting. You can carry 120, 120. Oh, they can all carry 120. What have we got here? Another double set. Uh, right, hang on. We'll have a double 158 on that. Ooh, you can carry 160. And then you. What are you going to be? What about a double pacer just to... Uh, there we go. We'll have a provincial... And a skipper on the back like that. Lovely. Right. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's over there. That's why. What are you? You're the you're the one five five. Look at that. That's fantastic. And the pacer on the back. Excellent. Yeah, I was wanting to get rid of that for quite a while. Those uh, those class twenty fives. What we do also need to work out is uh, is how we're going to get rid of these chaps. Because these are aging a little bit, aren't they? What, what some managed vehicles condition is bad. Right, you do need quite a few, don't you, on there? So we'll... Should we just go with double pacers on all of them? Yep, double pacers. And then on there, we'll go with a... Uh, we'll go with the 150. 150 stroke 2, yeah. We'll have one of them. Uh, regional railways... And uh, we'll shove another provincial sprinter on the back, just because why not? Oh, right, tiny and regional railways. Right, bang one of them on. There we go. Where are you? You're on the local. You're on the Driffield local. We could maybe do with another one of you, couldn't we? So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go with... What can we go with on there? We're just banging trains out left, right and centre now, aren't we? 
We'll go with another uh, another 142. 142 Pacer. Yeah, lovely. Get that on there. That'll be the uh, the Hull to Driffield local. There it goes. Ah, oh, I can hear it going. Look at that, lovely. Bit of pacing action there. So that's the Hornsey to Snaith local. We really have downgraded our railways from these lovely local hold stocks to uh, just paces everywhere. But I love it. Right, now, you are the... Uh, you're the... You're the... That. See, we did this in the last episode, didn't we? I don't really want to sort of get rid of it yet. I mean, you're full. If you spaced yourselves out a little bit more, it'd be brilliant. Where are you going then? You'll be the shuttle, won't you? You're the Hornsey shuttle. Which is good, because you're actually full. What are you waiting for? You're, oh, you're still boarding. These do have quite a bit of... Uh, take the time, don't they, to board? Look at that. York to Hull local. We've also got a pacer to come off the depot. Quite a lot happening, isn't there? Why have you stopped? You've stopped because you're in the way. You should actually get out the pacer's way, shouldn't you? Because you're not going to be stopping again. You're the Hull to Selby Express. Lovely. Oh, it's it's going well, people. I'm I'm pleased with this. So you should be shutting your doors. Yeah, turning round and going. Why are you still boarding? I thought the doors had shut. Right, he's going to Queen's Annoyed. Right. Look at that. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll uh, we'll go with that. Can we get a nice shot. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Bit of uh, bit of both. Get it going out and coming in. I, I can't... The, the screenshot thing's in the bottom. There we go. Right, so you're coming in there. Now, are you going to wait? Come on. Wait for me. Hopefully it will, because if we can space these out, then this is going to... I mean, that's obviously not got that many on. But it would be quite nice if they'd run at a, at a sensible frequency. Well, 50's off. Oh, that's the York to Hull local. Hang on, York to Hull... Oh, right, going around that way. Yeah, not the, not the other one. Oh, I can hear something with a, a powerful... Oh, it's a 56. There we go. Right, so you're going to stop now, is that right? Are we going to stop? We're going to stop for, for nearly an hour. That would be lovely. While this chap, you know, sort of gets on his way. It would be lovely if you could just, you know, wait that time. Bit of unbunching action. No. Maybe he has waited. Has he waited an hour? I don't know. It would be useful if it did say what, what these units were. I mean, is that a minute it's got away? Right, I tell you what, we'll go back into the timetable mod. Unbunch time. We'll have ten of those. Oh, hang on, no, no, this, this isn't right. Well, Drake, what what route's this? Right, just just no timetable, there we go, get rid of that. Hull to Selby, no, Hull to Hull, York to Hull. York to Hull Express. Right, unbunch. Ten of them. I don't know what that is. Is that is that minutes? I have no idea. But we'll we'll go with the minutes. BBC Northwest, lovely. See, he's obviously going at quite a rate of knots down there, isn't he? What have we got coming the other way? That's another one. I see you're actually fairly close to, to him. Where's the other one? The other one? Is that the other one? No. Where's the other chap? Oh, he's there. So, yeah, we, we do seem to have them all bunched down at one end now, don't we? Oh, look at that. A lovely 156 with a 158 on the back. Who would have thought we'd have had double sets so early on? I think in the 1990s it was all single sets everywhere, wasn't it? Right, you are the York to hold thy broom fleets. That's you, isn't it? 
You're going to be full and standing going back out, my friend. The driver will be pleased, though, because they'll have... Uh, They'll have a, a 158 to drive instead of a 156. Pacer coming in. Oh, double set pacer. That's the horn seat to Snaith local. Where do you stop after this, I wonder, sir? So you go, oh, you call it North Ferriby. So actually, if this pacer's got anything about it, that'll get out first because that goes straight to uh, somewhere else. Oh no, the stopper's gone in front of the uh, of the also stopper. That's a bugger, isn't it? I bet this will leave literally. Oh wow, that 156 is smoking. Well, I suppose the 158 is as well, isn't it, really? Oh, off he goes. Full steam ahead, sir. Oh, maybe not. Could really do with some signals here, couldn't we? Like two way ones. Straight in front of that express. Lovely. That's what we like to see, although that might be waiting to be fair. It says stopped. I'm intrigued to see how long he waits. Look at it! Oh, it's fantastic. There's not nearly enough screaming from the rails. So this next stop is Broomfleet, which is obviously there. Oh, it is a worry. It's a worry. The only thing we can hope for is that the 142 is chronically slow. I mean, we don't really need to hope for that. That's sort of a... That is a thing. Is he as slow as this chap, though? That 156 sounds awful on the back, doesn't it? Sounds like it's about to blow up at any moment. You see, via Broomfleet, there's a lot waiting for this. I wonder how many we've got on. Can we can we see where the people are going on this train? No. We can just see that we have a lot of people on. What's happening here? The town bus? They appear to be... What are you? You're the... Oh, right, okay. That's another town bus behind. It's probably a good job, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Full and standing. Oh, no. Full and standing arriving here as well. Oh, the people are going to be mad. They're going to be absolutely mad, aren't they? Mad as a box of frogs that this is uh, full and standing. Oh, no. Captain Pierce is catching them. How many have got off? Not many. Oh no, it's left 80 people behind. That's a worry. So that's okay. I mean, the pacer... Oh yeah, slowing right down. Oh wow, pacer coming through. 75 mile an hour. I bet they're holding on. Look at that, that's awesome. Oh, the cars went across not long after the uh, the train. That signal goes down. Right, off he goes. They're going to be livid that like there wasn't a stop order put on for uh, for this. Straight through, not stopping, and it's not even full as well. Oh, hang on, yeah, we've uh, we've caught we've caught that as well. How is the pacer faster than the 158 and the 156? How does that work then? Pretty sure that's not a thing. Oop, these two there, North Ferriby next stop. Got a right little section of miserable trains, haven't we? <laughs> Just pacers everywhere. They do look miserable. Thing is, is they oh wow, look, hull going sailing through at 82. Obviously catching the pacer there. 75, that's a, that's an acceptable way straight through. I quite like that, that's good. That's brilliant. What are you? You're stopping at Broomfleet as well. 
Well, 5.8s used to have some fantastic sounds on them. I don't know what's happened to them. Have they updated the uh, the model? Now it just sounds like it's coasting. Oh, what's this? This is a... Oh, this is a Hornsey to Snared local. Full and standing. Good freight going through as well. See, people were on about just getting rid of the platforms at Broomfleet and just having a two. I quite like this, you know, where we've got a bit of, bit of everything. And the good thing is as well is that if, I mean, this 142 stopped here, the other 158, if there was a 158 behind, I know there's not, that chap's, uh, yeah, that chap's just getting annoyed behind the pacer. But uh, if there was a 158, there you go, Hull to Selby Express, that would still overtake, it'd overtake both of them, it'd come through here, wouldn't it? And uh, straight back on like that, and I know it won't, because that chap's already left. It's a disappointing uh, thing to happen, isn't it? I guess this guy will catch the freight, won't he, before... Uh, Yeah, I'm sure that it, it just sounds like it's idling. I'm sure they uh, they changed that. I mean, the Hulton Selby Express is actually full. Remember a time when we were on about getting rid of it? Because it was locos and it just wasn't worth our time. It's a Hulton Selby Express there. And a Hulton Selby Express, oh for goodness sake. This chap here, he's a, a Honzi to Snaith local, lovely. Eighty odd miles an hour, we might actually get through in front of the pacer. Oh no, I think we're I think the pacer's gonna have to wait. Oh no, he's got a green. Ooh, that's annoying. I mean, he can't have a green, he'll have to wait. But but this is... Or does he go around to the left? Ah, right, okay. I thought for a second, oh, look at that, though. That's awesome. Straight through. No, we're having a photograph of that. Look at that. Right, well, uh, we'll, we'll oh, beautiful. I bet I've done it from the wrong side again. Oh, sensational. I love it. I know we've, we've literally not built anything this time round, have we, but... See, that's how that junction's meant to work for those uh, those doubters that doubted that I uh, know what I'm doing. Brilliant! You can carry on at 90 until you catch up that that train in front. Okay, you might you might manage. What's this chap then? Oh, this is the 155. Full on standing. Oh no! Look at that. Yeah, we, we really could do with more trains on there. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll launch two 150s. Because they're quite high capacity, aren't they? Right, hang on. 150, oh no, not that. Right, where are we? Regional railways, one, two, yep. Yeah. And then one, we'll have another regional railways sprinter. There we go. Honsey to Snaith local. No, not the Hornsey to Snaith local. The, uh, the... The other one. York to Hull via Broomfleet. Train, York to Hull via Broomfleet. There you go. Go on then, off you go. No, not having it. Oh, because there's one that's just left. Right, you'll be wanting that platform, won't you? I think the paces are, are my favourite train on this. Just the model and the sounds are just right, aren't they? Old Selby Express just coming in there. Right behind that one. 
just nip into the timetable mod. Hull to Selby. Oh, that's tram, that's why. Hull to Selby Express. Unbunch time, one hour. So you should sit there and unbunch. Yeah, just just do do that. Behave yourself. Right, so that's the York to Hull via Broomfleet. Is that a 150 stroke 2 on the back? It is. So that's an extra 250 capacities. Train York to Hull via Broomfleet. We'll have another one on there. What are you? Onzi to Snaith. Right, okay. Why have you gone over there? That's a really strange way of, of going. Because now this chap can't get out of the station. I'm glad that the Hull to Hornsey shuttle... Oh, no, hang on. I was going to say I'm glad he's waiting for the Express, but he's not going to... We have a lot of multiple units now. Local hold... Passenger local hold stuff is a thing of the past, isn't it? Other than on the, uh, the intercity line. Full and standing. Now we need to we need to sort of clear out now because I'm losing my argument that Hull needs an additional platform. Right. Maybe we, we I mean we could stick an additional platform in. If we go tracks, yep, yeah, right to the end. Bit of bit of knitting. Oh we're gonna have to delete those houses though. Right. Uh so if we if we do that I realise I've left it quite late in the episode to uh, to start building new things. There we go, we'll have a bit of, bit of 15. What, what's this? This is 25, isn't it? So if we... Is it 25? What, what's the speed limit? 25, lovely. Right, so if I go in there... Can we... No, you're, you're not grabbing that, are you? What about that way? No. Right, you see, the problem is, is if you won't let me put this crossover in, the, the new platform's sort of... Ah, there we go. And so the new platform's sort of futile. So, Hull to Driffield Local. Manage line. Right, at Hull. Go for platform five, please. So you, you can go to the others. Lovely. And then what, what else have we got? We've got the York to Hull Local. That's going in there. Manage line. Uh, tell you what, we'll we'll get them to try and always go for platform five, but but do the rest of them as well. Platform two, go in there as well if you want. But yeah, platform five as a as a preference, please, because then that frees up these platforms for uh, for the for the through stuff, doesn't it? Quite sensible, really, when you think of it. We could also add that in at the other end, but it just seems a bit of a pointless exercise, doesn't it? Ooh, doors are slamming shut. Go on then, turn around, off you go. There'll be another one along soon. Uh, shortly. Soon. Bit of both, really, isn't it? It is like my one goal at the moment to get the... Oh, they are spacing a bit, look. That's, that's good. If I can get these to space and work out a formula so that these are, you know, running a reliable service. We've not run a reliable service with that that service since we introduced it, have we? This still hasn't left the depot yet, which is probably a good thing when you think, because uh, it's given plenty of space in chance. Oh, that stops. Lovely. Hold to Selby Express. Pleased that this has been led out in front. Excellent. I mean, the crude oil trains do make us a lot of money, so... Uh, Probably more so than that. So yeah, we'll prioritise the... Uh, oh, that must be... Oh, they won't be able to see, will they? Because there's, there's a big verge in the way. I'm going to say that must be annoying, seeing another train go sailing past when you're stuck at a signal. Just goes to show that that, uh, that verge really was required. Otherwise, that service would have been delayed as well. Right, well, yeah, that is where we're... Uh, oh, he's got, a, he's got a signal, finally. That's where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you enjoyed that. As I say, please don't be cr too cross if you did suggest something fabulous and I've just ignored it. Uh, because, of course, don't forget, uh, I'm, I, this has been pre-recorded. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Now, back next week, it'll be normal service. So if you've got any fantastic ideas, do, of course, let me know. I would absolutely love to hear them. And uh, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on any exciting Transport Fever 2 content. And uh, sling a like at the video. 
uh, be a lamp, be a lamp, do that. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Again, I can't, I'm stuck in a rut with that now. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.